So we're back with 2020 Radio today, and I'm sitting here with <laughs> the the only the only if you type in Kansas City, the only registered level three CrossFit coach in, in Kansas, Kansas City. City. Yeah, and that's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah so fact check. Congratulations it. Oh, thank again. You. Uh, Jeremy passes his CrossFit level fee level three, um, which is a pretty comprehensive exam on everything that is CrossFit. Yeah. Basically everything that is fitness. And that is now just two weeks ago, three weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yeah. Three weeks ago now. And basically all it was is like you go in and if you've ever taken not one of those, all, not all it was. So the, so and I'm saying this because I'm studying to take mine in, in January end of January. So I'm trying to get all the cliff notes I can, but it's everything that CrossFit has ever put out. Oh yeah! Every manual, every article, yeah. every video. Yeah, oh, yeah. So when you sign up, well, and you can even go into, you can look at all the stuff, their recommended reading list, or you know, their CCFT or whatever their outline. Yeah. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh, you know, this is, this guy can't. And then it just keeps on scrolling, and you just keep on keep on scrolling. I'm like, holy smokes! There's yeah. a lot to read about this, and it's just it's you go in and. You do one of those computer exams. So they scan your hand and they sit at a computer and you click through and they tell you, you know, right off the bat, I mean, it's 160 questions or whatever. And, um, they tell you when you, when you finished, if you passed or you failed. And I was like, Oh, sweet deal. I passed. Um, <laughs> all that work was worth it. So what did you yeah. have to do? What did you have to do to prepare? Cause so, so for people that don't know, like the level one, level two, you go over the course of a weekend and they teach you everything that you need to know and, and you're good when you leave. You know, it's, yeah. it's two days in, in and out. You, obviously, you study beforehand and, and, and prepare, but, but with this, there was no accountability. No, it's There's literally no, just you. It's just you. Yeah, and it's up to like it's up to you. You you register for your your th- your uh, your test, and they give you a little code, and then you have a year to sign up for your test. Right. right. So, I basically just signed up for it and said, "All right, regardless." So every single time I've gotten you know level one, I did in November. Level two, I did a year exactly in a November. Level three, I did. I think I had between my level two and level three. I think I had. Almost exactly two years. I've I've done every one in November. I tried to have it a year apart, so I wanted to be like level three in three years. That was right. kind of like a goal of mine. Yeah. Um, and the th- biggest thing that I found helped was practicing everything that was in the reading. In real life. In real life. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, if you're if you're not coaching or if you're not practicing everything that you're learning, then you're not you you can't apply it for the test. Like it's really it, it'd be a really hard test. Right. Right. So say if you you know read something, all right, just put it to the side. Read something, put it to the side. That you're not gonna remember nothing. Yeah. So what I just tried to do is I'd try and pick out an article. I'd read all, all the way through, make my notes or whatever, and then I'd go practice it, and then I'd come back and I'd say, okay, that worked, or I screwed that up. Right. And then just move on to the next article, next article, next article, and then any other type of book that was related to something like that, um, then I'd go read it. What surprised you in the preparation that you, that, you know, what, what, yeah, what was the biggest surprise during the preparation that came out like in the exam? You know, was there something that you, you know, you, you expect it to all be? I was, ex- yeah, I was expecting, um, Let's see. I didn't really know exactly what to expect besides everything that was on the outline. It was a little bit more detailed than I expected, I guess I could say that. The actual exam? The actual exam was. Right. So the actual exam was a little bit more like, a little bit more, I want to say, they wanted more detailed information than I was expecting because I was kind of thinking of past cross you know crossfit experiences sure. is like simple answers yeah simple answers but is there actually like no what is what is this you know what, what i'm saying was an exa- you were rattling off some example questions yeah just like um like an example would be like they have a video with no no sound and they tell you this before you even go into it or when you're when you're signing up for the computer thing or whatever but there's a video with no sound and you have to uh you have to know what everybody's doing wrong right so you're actually watching watching athletes move yeah and you're and you're taking notes, yeah. so it's almost it's almost a little you're coaching. More like real life. Yeah, right? you're real life. So that's what I wasn't expecting. I was wondering how, like, how they could make it a how they could make it like coaching applicable. Yeah. How, how do you test somebody's coaching ability if they're not coaching? Yeah. Like you're sitting there taking it. Yeah. Test. You're, how, how are you going to, how are you going to tell me if I'm a good coach or not, if I'm just sitting at a computer clicking through the screens, but I thought they did a fantastic job. The only thing I think, um, and I, maybe I said this to you a while ago, I was like, I, I maybe it could have been a little bit harder. I mean, it was, so it's easy once you've passed once it. Once you've passed it. Yeah. To yeah. say it's a little bit harder, right. but then, um, 
I think it's because I tried to overemphasize. I really tried to overemphasize just practicing what it all taught. Yeah. Right. And if you really go back to everything that like go back to the level one, level two, all those handbooks yeah. and everything that Greg Glassman's ever said, it's really. He's the fa- the founder of CrossFit. Yeah. The, okay. f- the founder of CrossFit. And it's, it's really just like if you, if you do CrossFit the way it's written, it works really, really well. Like if you don't try and it's like when someone gives you a program or they give you a workout and you're like, well, instead of doing that workout or that program, I'm, let me try something different, right? Let me, let me do this my own way. And then it doesn't work as well. If you literally just do it as it's written and CrossFit.com still puts out fantastic, they put out amazing workouts and people still get fantastic results from it. It's like, if you just do it, how they said it's to be done. The key, the key though is you have to just do it. Yeah. So you just have to do it. What it, what it. What's the biggest thing you learned from it that you're ba- able to apply to your daily coaching now? So, you know, so what is the benefit besides for, you know, the piece, piece of paper? You, Have they sent yeah. you the piece of paper yet? No, I haven't gotten it yet. Well, that's that's the main reason you do these Yeah, things. that's the only so thing. Get, so you get the, the plaque. But yeah. what, what's been your biggest, going biggest back to application basics. going back to basics? Going back to basics. Like, literally, I've, I've gone back even after the test and reread the level one again and reread the level one again um, and reread the level two. And it's like, go back to the basics. Right. Like, I mean, um, move really well first, get really good consistently and moving really well, and then add intensity, right? And just go back to it, um, quality, consistency, and then intensity. And it's like, just, just get, get, get good at the basics and just basic movement, basic movement, but also basic coaching, like rewrite down verbal cues and like rewrite down your tactile cues and just, we try and get all the advanced stuff, but then we forget the basic stuff. And then you you just gotta, you just gotta come back to that every once in a while. So that, that really got, um, I, I really liked That's what I'd say it reignited that for me. Yeah. And I think that's, you know, we've talked about how we're going to, Reboot all all of our coaching staff. Like yeah. Literally start all over again, and mm-hmm. I, I think it's the same way. Learning learning how to how to coach or how to teach or, or any capacity is the same as movement. So say you get you get your push ups down, and then you graduate up to handstand push ups. Well, that doesn't mean you never go back to doing slow negative push ups. No. So you've yeah. got you've got to you know continue to refire those those motor patterns, and same thing with with teaching. Yeah, same same thing goes with learning and teaching and coaching and all that fun stuff. Uh, so I'd say that'd be my biggest takeaway from level three. I, you'd almost have the, the basics. You'd almost have the like um, the tendency to be like, well, I'm done. Sure. <laughs> because you can't get the level four yet until because it's not available for the public or whatever. Right. Um, and when that comes out, then I'll go get that too. Right. But um, well, I guess uh, I know it all, right? But well, you really don't. Well, now I think <laughs> I think the more you learn about a subject, the more you realize you don't know. Exactly. Yeah. How you feel now? Oh yeah. It's like now man, the world's been a little bit more opened like, up. Like all right, well, man, now I got to go back and let's relearn a lot of this stuff. Let's let's relearn all this. And like I said, that's why I've gone back and reread the level one again. Yeah. Even though being level three, um, which is a lot of fun. It's actually it's it's created a little bit more of a uh, reignited flame for learning more, mm-hmm. and that helped when studying for it too. Yeah. It's like we don't realize how many great articles come out of. CrossFit Journal, because yeah. um, I know in the beginning when you're first like you read every, you read one. every single one, you're crushing it, and then you kind of get away from it, and then you got to get back into just reading everything from the journal. Right, they do put a lot out. So, yeah. and, and I think I think the other thing about it is it's it's helped the rest of our coaching staff kind of realize like, hey, like just because you've checked the box and gone to a couple seminars, like there's there's a lot more out there. Oh, so, absolutely. Uh, what have you been doing to study for years? Because you're coming up here nothing. soon. No, it, right on. Absolutely nothing. I uh, no, that's not true. I mean, I downloaded all the all the all the materials and started checking some boxes. I I printed off, you know, that that page where they have everything written. Yeah. Or, or what all the different, yeah. yep. different articles or videos were. So I checked. I'm just, you know, maybe going through one page of those. So yeah, not not much. But it's a stack but, of paper like that thick. Oh yeah, it's a lot of a lot of read material. Yeah. I think the thing that you're doing though is you're practicing when you're doing it. like you're sure. actually when you coach you actually coach you get a lot of reps but yeah i have till january you know 24th or something like that so not that i, I don't want to cram because i'm not a big fan of i wasn't good at that in school cramming taking a test no and, and getting good grades uh if i crammed i'd get 
you know, poor grades, and then I wouldn't remember it. So I need to, I need to get it in my head, you know, a month out, month out. So I'm just planning, you know, December to be my kind of study month. Now that I'm back to it, I'll just kind of chip away at it every day, and then I'll, I'll be coming to you with questions. But you know, I think the, the, the thing for us is it, what we're trying to do with the coaching here is continually evolve, mm-hmm. and I, you know, and that's. You know, part of the thing that we tell tell the staff is our clients are getting smarter and smarter. Yes. And the longer somebody's around, the more they know, you know, the the truth from BS. And uh, that really puts a fire under us to make sure that we're continuing to elevate our game. So do I need to go do the level three? No. Um, you know, I'd probably be just fine. Yeah. But, it, but like you like you just said, I think it's it's a way to kind of reignite that flame and make sure that you're that you're on your game. Yeah, and you're and you're reading everything, and you're paying attention, and uh, you're admitting that you're not that good. Yeah, oh for sure. You got a lot of stuff to work on. We all we all do. Yeah, and um, well, also looking at like benchmark workouts, right? You kind of like would we, like you said, would we have to get the level three? Nope, not at all. But it's a goal. Like people want to. I mean, besides, for if they're listening to this, nobody's going to know. Yeah. No one. Well, yeah. No. But no. No. That's when I'm saying anything. Tell that the coaching is incrementally getting a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. Yeah. So. Plus, it's always good to have good goals, right? So, like I said, I wanted to be level three in three years yeah. or whatever. Uh, it was four, but yeah. you know, it's but still like nobody's gonna hold that against you. No. No. But uh, um, speaking of three, you've got another three. Uh, yeah. In, in your life right now, so you got your level three, and then. Approximately around that same time, you found out about another number three. <laughs> Numero trace. Yep, gonna step up the game to go uh, number uh, number three. Yeah, so adding player saying? number three to the game, which would be like baby number three. Which would be baby number three. <laughs> yeah. third, third child. <laughs> yeah, third child. Yep. I hope Debbie's okay <laughs> with me saying it on a podcast. That'd it's, be fantastic. It sh- should be perfect. By <laughs> yeah, it'd be perfect. It's perfect timing by then. Um, yeah. No, the due date would actually be July fourth, which is my birthday. It's your birthday. So that'd be crazy so in the birth of a nation level three with a third child on my birthday for my 30th birthday oh that's right yeah that's number, yeah. number 30 three by 30 that's wow. kind of cool huh that's very cool <laughs> yeah should be interesting <laughs> going from man to man to zone so you'll have what'll, what'll be the spread so What's uh weston weston is october he's four and then walter is he turns one one. on the 19th of this month and then so will they be 18 months 16 15 months apart yeah what december january february march april may june july 17 months apart because december 18 months apart oh wait what yeah, tw- yeah, nineteen months. Apart. Nineteen months. Yeah, apart. great on okay. math. Yeah, That's they right. didn't have any math on the on There's, the level there are three. Twelve months. Yeah, there was no math. <laughs> no math. CrossFit math. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So what? That's great. So they'll yeah, be nineteen 19, months apart. Nineteen months apart. So they'll be a little bit different. Weston was already full blown, like potty trained. I mean, right. he was like pretty much just do your own thing type kid. When Walter came around, so now this one will be a little bit different. Debbie's a total boss by being able to hang on to all three of them without, you know, much family and like any family right. in town. Not a lot of support. Right? Um, and so that'll be fantastic. Um, I'm going to have to start thinking of my non negotiables right now. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You got me thinking about it over the course of the weekend. Like, what, when I get back to work next week, like, what are my, what are the non negotiables? Yeah. And one of my non negotiables will not be working out. I can tell you that much because I know that, that, that look that you got when you're like, I'm going to do a workout. Like, you're going to do. And I'm in pain here I, in this I'm gonna, bed. And I I'm going to work move. you out here in a second. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that'll be exciting. 30 by, or 3 by 30. Um, yeah, we're hoping for, hoping for, you know, hoping for a little girl. Weston already goes around and saying, like, oh, going to have a baby sister. Gonna have, I was like, dude, we don't even know. How could you, how could you even know it right now? He might know. So, uh, yeah, he, he might know. So, Yep. Tell Debbie not to get too excited about a girl. Is she excited? About, does she really no, want a girl? No, she's like, okay. no, she wants a girl, but oh, okay, good. likelihood is like yeah. slim slim to none. Odds are odds are against her, but it, yeah. it absolutely happens. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's incredible. I, I know I've said congrats, but yep. congrats formally. <laughs> yeah. um, that's that's super exciting. And then I'll give you notes on the 19 months apart and see if I if I learn anything. Because yeah. our, our two are 19 months apart, and mm-hmm. we'll see how that adjustment all unfold, unfold, but mm-hmm. we uh, 
you guys, I mean, I'm sure you'll do great. Come you've got, the, you've got the parenting thing figured out. Yeah, well, we, I a guess. Bit. I mean, it's somewhat. Yeah. Sleep. sleep. Sleep is the biggest thing, right? If Get you can figure that sleep. out, what is it? Uh, we, we go off of Baby Wise. Mm -hmm. do you, guys do, you guys do Baby Wise, too. Yeah. Man, I suggest that book to everybody. If you don't do Baby Wise, you should just pick everybody, it up. And, yeah, or like, I don't think we, we don't follow it. To a T. To a T. No. But it's a principle. Prescription. Yeah, it's principles. Exactly. Yeah. Feed, wait, Use sleep. the principle and you're good. Uh, Feed, s wait, same sleep. here. And like Walter, he, I mean, he goes to bed at six o'clock at night and wakes up at six thirty, seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So it's like he's, you know, he's good there. Now it's just going to be the adjustment of the. Now bring on another one. Just bring on another one. That's so cool. Well, yeah. Level, level three on, on multiple, <laughs> from multiple segments uh, uh, today. Um, one knocking out a pretty pretty big test, which I think you know opens up a lot of potential, uh, you know, coaching wise, leadership wise, you know, for the future. And then, well, you you know, a third baby opens up a whole bunch of potential. It's going to be level <laughs> three here in a second. Yeah, yeah that's, it will be. That's another level three. Well, guys, thank you again for joining us, and uh, we'll catch you again next week.